Let us now take a look at what is IVF and what is ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. In common terms, it is called test tube baby. Normally, in a cycle, only one egg is produced. However, when we do IVF, we need more number of eggs and to facilitate this, we give hormone injections called FSH which aids in the growth of more number of follicles and once these follicles reach the right size, we uh, collect the eggs under sedation. Once the eggs are collected, they are uh, kept in the lab in the incubator. We then obtain the sperm from the husband and we separate the motile sperm which is uh, in a, at a particular concentration we then add to the uh, collected eggs at a certain ratio. So we allow the sperm to get into the egg on its own in IVF or in vitro fertilization process. However, when we are looking at ICSI, which is as I mentioned intracytoplasmic sperm injection, here one single sperm is selected and injected inside the egg using a separate machine called micro manipulator. This is an advanced technique as compared to IVF. However, both IVF and ICSI give similar fertilization rates and the reason we prefer ICSI in certain couples is mainly because of a severe male factor problem which means if the sperm count is very low or in certain couples they have a problem called unexplained subfertility where there are issues with the sperm and the egg mixing and in these couples also we would suggest ICSI as the fertilization option. So basically when it comes to the pregnancy rates, both IVF and ICSI give similar pregnancy rates and it is also important to remember that when we have embryos, say for instance in a couple with unexplained subfertility, where there are embryos from both the IVF and ICSI, we would still prefer the IVF embryos as opposed to the ICSI embryos because the natural process of fertilization is still, we, we, we keep maintain it in the IVF as opposed to ICSI.